Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier. So already in our previous video, I started discussion on AWS step function and I have also discussed one particular approach that is how you can trigger AWS step function and that approach I have discussed with API Gateway, right? So now I am going to discuss with CloudWatch rules, okay, how we can trigger AWS step function, right? So this scenario can be shown like this way that is suppose you are having a bucket and as soon as some file is uploaded or some data is coming in S3 bucket then event notification will be coming to the CloudWatch and based on the rule it will basically trigger our step function okay and then in that step function there can be multiple integration with different AWS services all those stuff should be executed one by one okay. So how to do that? That's what I am going to cover in this particular video. Okay. So without any further delay, let us directly jump into the lab section. So I will go to S3 and here what I will do, I will create a bucket. Okay. Bucket name I can give demo cloud is a step. Okay. And then here I will create the bucket. So here demo cloud is the step is created. And I am going to create a very simple step function because that is just for a demo. You can create huge complex step function also not a problem. So I can give the same kind of lambda name. And here I will be choosing the environment as Python 3.9. And here I will create the function. Okay. So here our function is created. I will just do print event. Okay, and here I will deploy this very simple code just whatever event will be coming triggering the lambda that we are printing here. Okay, then here I will go to AWS management console and I will go to state function and then here I will go to state machine create state machine workflow visually I want to create I will just drag and drop this lambda and the lambda name I will be taking from here and here function I will be pasting that that's it okay a very simple step function which will just import the lambda that's it so here we are all set I will just go to next and the name as of now I am keeping my state machine only that's fine and here we will create the state machine okay so currently if I refresh see no execution is there that is perfectly fine now what I will do I will go to my S3 and I will go to property section if I go little bit below, here you can see Amazon Event Bridge. Okay, send notification to Amazon Event Bridge for all the events in the bucket. So that one we can basically turn it on. Okay, and here we can save the changes. Okay, and then here what I will do, I will go to CloudWatch, and here either you can use Event Bridge for event notification or you can use CloudWatch. Okay, not a problem. Any one you can use. So I am just showing with demo with this cloud watch. So here I will just go with back to cloud watch event and create the rule. Event pattern I want to do for S3. So simple storage service I will be choosing. And all events or what kind of stuff we want to do. So here we can do basically Amazon S3 event notification. So that I am putting that here. And I want to send any event or specific event so I can choose specific event that is if object is created then only it should trigger and specify bucket name. So here only if the event is coming in this particular bucket that alone I want to send. Okay. And based on that here the JSON event pattern is also generated that is perfectly fine. And in the target section this time it will not be lambda it is basically step function. Okay. And here I will choose my state machine. And then here to trigger from CloudWatch based on event to the state machine, here we need to create one particular role, right? We need to give the permission to CloudWatch so that it can trigger the step function. So for that here, automatically the role will be created. That's fine. So I will just go to configure name. I can give demo YT cloud step and then here I will create the role. Okay. So here rule is created. Now whenever any object will be uploading in this particular bucket then and there this particular step function will be running so currently you can see no state is executed but as soon as we will upload here one state will be executed and in the lambda in the monitor section if we go to the cloudwatch logs there we will able to see the event 
due to which the lambda got triggered. Okay, as of now, we will not see any logs because the lambda has not triggered yet. So let's just test it out once. So I will just add files and maybe I can upload architecture. Okay, architecture.pbt one particular file I can upload. And here it is uploading. If I go to step function, if I refresh this one, currently no execution. And see here it is successful. One particular step has already executed. Okay. So I will go to my lambda and if I go to view logs in CloudWatch, here we will be able to see that that particular log is generated. See here it came and if I click on that, here it will clearly show you that this is the bucket for which the trigger happened and the key is basically architecture.ppt, size is this much. Okay, all this information it is getting. Okay, I can maybe upload one more file and show you another example. So just capture this one, let me upload capture.png and if I upload it again, here we will see that one more step will be executed. Okay, it is uploaded. So let's go to our step and see another time. Okay, so as you can see here, first one was executed at 10 p.m. and now let us 10 1 p.m. 44 seconds also it is executed. Okay, if I go back to CloudWatch and if I refresh this one here, see another logs basically came. If I click on that, here in the key name, here you will see capture.png is coming. Okay, so that means this particular pipeline is perfectly working. And using this kind of CloudWatch rules or event bridge rule, you can basically integrate step function and you can trigger step function based on its event. Okay, so I have discussed the demo with CloudWatch event. Even you can configure the same with event bridge also. So if you want to know how to configure with event bridge, if you want to use, then you can check the description box there I'll be providing a link where step by step explanation is given okay that is AWS document only so you can trust on that for sure right so this is all for my this video if you find this video helpful then please like share and comment subscribe our channel if you have not subscribed till now and don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of our latest videos thank you